What is up guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be another spoilers and leaks type video. This is going to be the data mine for the current Absolution PTS that is currently up. It actually went up, the time I'm making this video actually went up about 7 hours ago. And we already have a data mine, which is crazy. Now, normally I usually do data mines and I actually use uh, Realm Leaks, which his is not up yet. But if his does have anything different, I will make another video. I just wanted to make one video with this because I don't think there's going to be much different info for any of the other ones. And this is the one that's up fastest. And it looks pretty legit. So, I mean, if you consider legit, like half the stuff probably being like filler and stuff just to troll whoever data mines it, like last couple patches. But if you guys do not want spoilers, please click off the video right now. If you're, you're still here beyond this, you're here to be spoiled. If you don't. Do not want to know what's up ahead for the next patch or one or two patches. Probably even like season, like the beginning of the season. A lot of this stuff, probably even like this next champion, like this, the champion we're getting in this data mine. It's probably going to be revealed at High Res Expo, which I think is at the end. I think it's either early January or at the end of December. It's one of those two. So we'll probably end up getting a new champion anyway as to kick off the next the 2022 year. That's probably what this champion is. I'm just assuming that's what it is because every time there's a high res as expo or like a dream hack or whatever or like one of those bigger events they're always going to throw out a champion so or like a big map change or like some really huge game change usually it's a champion though like if you guys want me to do these videos as well leave a like down below subscribe share the video it really helps me out i also do, do stream paladins i stream smite i stream apex legends uh, probably even the day you guys are going to be seeing this, I'll probably be streaming Smite later tonight, so feel free to stop by later tonight around about 10 p.m. EST, something around there. Uh, let's get right into this. There's a lot of shit to go over here. We're going to be getting a new champion. The, the filler name right now is called Seven. I, I don't know if that's actually going to be the name of the champion. I'm assuming not. If they name a champion Seven, like I think we're getting really low on the idea type pool and we're kind of just pulling ideas out of a hat at this point and i thought azan was kind of a, a sketchy name but I, I don't know i think seven is kind of more of a sketchy one um title seven eight nine that that is legit the title in the in the data mine it's called seven eight nine for this this new champion which is supposed to be a velociraptor it's some type of scaly organism, scaly creature. I know there's going to be people, be people that are rolling their eyes. Oh, another Paladin's furry and it's another scaly type champion. Blah, blah, blah. Keep in mind, guys, t before we get into any rest of this too, they take this with a grain of salt. Like 90% of this stuff is probably just thrown into the data mine just to troll people. Just like last patch, a lot of shit was just thrown into the data mine just to troll people so take it with a grain of salt it, until we start getting like teasers or like even more like solid confirmation a lot of this stuff a lot of this stuff is just, just thrown into a data mine it might not even be the same thing because the champion more than likely is just in the early stages they could always change it like they thought about making a zon as like a dragonoid type human tank and then then they never went through with it when it was originally in the data mine like told out to be like a dragonite or like a scaly as well in the data mine originally which never ended up happening so whatever a uh, passive they have a passive form reduce incoming slows by 50 percent whatever uh play test name seems to be seven the default skin it has the name of raptor which might just be a filler name i don't know that's kind of what it is Portuguese name is called Roman 7, so it's like the number. And it is legit. The, his lore says Corvus's sister college roommate, which is obviously a fucking troll. That is just something they threw right into the data mine just to troll people. That makes no sense at all, and that's just really dumb. It's not really even funny. If I don't, I'm not being honest. Like, I don't think it's funny. It's just there to troll people. Um, seven mode switch. Most likely a damage or a flank. So all of you guys that are looking for another tank, or if you're like me that wants another support added to the game, looks like we're not going to be getting one. Yet another damage and another flank champion added to like the plethora of like almost like 20, like half the game being damage champions at this point. I don't know. If I'm being honest with you guys, I'd rather have a support. 
abilities. They have a, a rough ability and like a rough weapon type for what he has. Like it, uh, an LMB, uh, SMG. Um, I'm not sure if LMB means like a, a light machine, like a, a light machine bomb, or like, usually that's what it sometimes LMB means, like a light machine bomb, or like a uh, like a, a barrel gun. I don't know. Same way if you guys play Fortnite, like the uh, the drum gun. That's kind of what sometimes that's usually what that abbreviation means. I'm not sure. Automatic machine pistol that deals 90 damage every whatever second. Similar to probably Corvus. I don't know. That's kind of what it seems like. And then a burst mode and like a mag dump. So if you guys play Overwatch, fan the hammer on McCree instead of, the, it, of it being like, an, like a, a six shooter. It being an SMG. That's kind of what I'm assuming that is. At least from what I first read that. That's kind of what it is. Uh, he has another, he actually has a movement ability, like a rough movement ability, which looks like it's going to be some other type of vine ability. Why do we keep getting fucking useless and shitty abilities recycled? I don't know. Hopefully they don't go through with this, because we do not need any more latch abilities. We don't need any more vine abilities. We have one with Grover. We have one with Vora. Vora is still incredibly bugged, let alone Grover, and Grover's been in the game for like five years. And his vine is still incredibly bugged. It doesn't even work half the time. We do not need any more last champions. Please don't be like a vi variation of a vine. Please. I, I know it's real. I shouldn't be getting upset about it or like talking shit about it because it's still, like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Hopefully they change this. Change this to something we don't have, please. I do not want to see another damage champion that, or like another damage or a flank that has a variation of Grover's vine as a movement ability. Because it was one of the worst moving abilities game, in the game. It's okay for Vora because she kind of fits that aspect. But Grover, like, being a support, like, just because he's an OG, it makes sense. But they shouldn't do it again. It just doesn't fit the whole damage and flank type aspect. It really doesn't. Has an effect that's applied to 7 while pooling. Mentions of two charges. Could be a talent. He might have a switch mode. He might have a, uh, like a, a stance swap and an explosive grenade slash trap. Maybe something similar to like Junkrat if you guys are playing Overwatch. Maybe like a mine or something he can throw down in the spot and it'll explode. Just can imagine how buggy that's going to be. They don't even have an ultimate for him yet. That's how in the early stages they are. They don't even have an ultimate for him. There is no ultimate in this data mine for him. He has some weapons and cars. Like, I'm not going to go through all this. Like, this is all going to change. I can tell you guys right now, they don't even have half the abilities. Like, in it, like, completely thought out. These cards are going to end up 100% changing. I'm not going to go through all these. If you guys want to read them, by all means, go read them. Um, it's on the R Paladin Reddit under the spoiler section. You guys can find this thread. Um,. We got cosmetics, we got a raptor skin, which I'm assuming is the recolor for the 60,000 gold, which they usually give us each champion. And then the raptor skin, 0.01a, which is probably a season pass skin for a new champion, that's what it is. Uh, please don't tell me we're going to be getting like a, a medieval times event pass. Please, for the love of God, please, do not give us a, a medieval times battle pass or event pass. Let alone another Ying skin and a, another Maeve skin for the event pass. If this is the case, I think the entire community needs to, like, legit flip their desk, close their laptop, and fucking rage. And we can need to go down to, to high-res studios, travel down to Georgia with, like, picket signs and, like, burning, like, burning stakes. Because... I don't know how what you guys think, but I'm going to have a video up later this week, probably when you guys are seeing this video, just talking about like, the bad distribution of skins throughout the game right now. There's a certain handful of, of champions in the game that haven't had a skin in almost three years. Like, why, why are we getting Ying skins? Why are we getting Maeve skins? Maeve just had a skin. She just got a skin for the Genlock Battle Pass. Ying just had a skin. Does this make any sense? She just had a skin in the uh, the Battle Bite uh, event pass, which was the first event pass they created, which was towards the being, beginning of this year. So she's going to get two skins in the span of a year, and there's a handful of champions in the game, about six to eight champions, that have not had a skin in, in more than two to almost four years. 
and we're over here giving Ying and Maeve more skins. Okay. Does that make sense? I don't know. Hopefully this changes. Maybe this is just thrown in there as a troll, which I'm hoping it is. Maybe they're, they're just throwing this in there as a troll just to piss people off because we they know we don't want any more Ying or Maeve skins. And that says a lot, too, because Maeve is my, my favorite champion in the entire game. And even me, as a Maeve main and having her as my highest level champion and the most hours out of any other champion on Maeve, I do not even want a Maeve skin. That says a lot. Hopefully that's just a troll. I don't know why. I, I guess I'm getting upset over nothing. That's not even confirmed. But we said we looked at the data mine for the last patch, and it said a... Uh, it said Tyra skin, it said a Yagra skin, and it said an Io skin, and they all came true, so I don't know. Take it with a game truck, get a uh, grain of salt, guys. Last skins for the last data mine were all real, and they all actually were legit, and they were all what they said they were in the data mine, which was about two months before we even got revealed the patch, so, and what we, we got, we got this past patch for the Sati update, that is. So, I don't know. Or not the Sati update, the, uh, this, the Dark Depths update in the Absolution patch, so. I don't know what to tell you guys. Take it with a grain of salt. Then we got recent mentions, damage, and yank them toward you. I, this is just time, times of, some types of stuff that they're just writing for the new champion. I'm assuming these might be, like, voice lines or something. Or, like, stuff she does as, like, notes. I, that's kind of what that is. There's not really much else here. Um... No skin. I'm assuming like Jurassic Ying. Like they they have a, a Jurassic Ying, and then a mo I'm assuming Monster Hunter is maybe that's a Monster Hunter collab. Would it be cool if we get a Monster Hunter collab, guys? I don't think that's true. I don't know what else M H A would mean. I don't know. That, I think that stands for that. I think the new Monster Hunter game has those in, uh, those uh, abbreviations. I'm not hundred percent sure though. Let me know in the comments down below. But. Uh, usually, if you're, we're getting a Jurassic Ying and then a Recolor, those are Event Pass skins because they both have Recolors. So, hopefully, we, we're not getting a Jurassic, like, Triassic period type of, like, medieval times Battle Pass or Event Pass back in the Stone Age with dinosaurs and cavemen. Please, for the love of God, please don't. How ironic, too, is that the, the, the last three Event Passes have all been females in the Event Pass the, the, the Sati update, we've had Sky, and we've we had Sky, and I guess we had Corvus, which isn't. But this next patch, we've had Sati and Tyra, and then if this is true as well, we're going to have Ying and Maeve. So two back-to-back -back patches with, with all female champions. Really weird. They usually don't do that. I don't know, then we got some other stuff. I, I, yeah, Realm Royale, this guy makes a good point as well. Realm Royale does have Raptor-type mounts. Maybe it's a new mount, I don't know. Or they're taking, like, imp inspiration for something from Realm Rail. I don't know. But you guys can check this out. It's on the R Paladins Reddit under the Spoilers tab. Go check it out. It should be towards the top of the page. Like, I, when I'm seeing this, it's, it was just thrown up, like, an hour ago. So, you guys probably won't be seeing this until tomorrow. I'll throw this up tomorrow morning. It, like I said, if, if Realm Leaks does have a, a data mine on it, if there's some different stuff, I will do separate videos, but... I plan on just doing one video, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about everything in this data mine down below. That'd be really cool. If you guys like these types of videos, let me know by leaving a like. Subscribing to the channel would really help me out. We're on our way slowly to 750 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, I would really help. Appreciate the help and appreciate you, you guys getting us to that goal uh, within the next couple weeks. And then uh, share the video. Really appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Thanks for watching. Peace out.